day begins with a coffee. Okay, I have my little coffee cup. I'm using unsweetened almond milk. And the coffee beans I use are from a company called Jack's. So I discovered these like, oh, I don't know how long ago. They're an online company and they do flavoured beans and flavoured like ground coffee. So I have a coffee grinder and I like freshly ground beans for my coffee. But they do decaf as well. So this is my decaf one. And um, that's a cinnamon hazelnut one. My favourite flavour, which is the one I normally use, is the Hawaiian hazelnut. So it's kind of like hazelnutty, like subtle taste. Now it's not like having syrup in it, but it's a subtle hazelnut coconutty taste. And that's what I have at the moment um, in ground. Uh, non decaf, and um, my decaf is the cinnamon hazelnut, but it's very cinnamony, so I'm not really that into it. I think I'm just gonna go with the Hawaiian hazelnut. And um, they do massive bags of it as, well, uh, as well. I think this is the 200 gram bag, but I normally get um, a full kilo of beans, and that'll last me like a month or so. Um, and I use it for all my guests and everything, I'm not biased. Um, I also use these like little handy, um, they're kind of like coffee bags because my machine can take them. Um, they're very hard to come by and I like flavoured coffee. Uh, I also use um, the Italian beans from now, now and again. There's these ones that are called, I used to get them in Dublin and they were my by far my favourite. They were called Super Crema. You are puking on my foot. No, she's um, they were like called Super Crema, I'm not really sure, they were like Italian beans, I used to get them in the Bar Italia in Dublin and I love them, I can't get them online, don't know, gonna have to get them when I get a whole home next, uh, which I don't know when will be because I'm pretty busy moving house and stuff in the next couple of weeks. Um, what else do we have coming up? We are going to get our teeth. Our appointment with the dentist on the 18th of August, that's not for another two weeks. We'll hopefully we move by then. Uh, buying furniture, getting my hair done next week. I'm growing it down so I'm just going to get her to dye it, to get rid of all the beautiful greys. Um, getting my eyebrows done on Saturday, my nails. But that's like a weekly, a bi-weekly event. I'm going to have to find all new places to get my nails and my eyebrows and everything done. But I was just thinking though, like I've got all my schedule for all my beauty things up until my show already done out because there's certain things you only get done like waxing or eyebrows and things every four weeks so I want to have them all nice and freshly done the week before I step on stage so I have it all in my diary already and I think that you know this whole thing of um, planning, plan your diary, plan your, what you're going to do, plan what you're, um, if you don't have a coach doing your diet for you, plan where you should be at certain points and if you're not you need to change things up, change your cardio, change your diet um, and just plan out your workout for the week as well. Don't kind of go into the gym going, oh I train arms today. Know what you're going to do on what day and know what exercise you want to hit to hit all the fibres and that's how I do up my plans as well. I want to hit every aspect of every muscle so um, I'm not like leaving out like rear delts or you know you have to really concentrate on getting a fully rounded physique. Also get someone to look at you as an outside perspective because a lot of girls are coming to me now for a bikini class and they've got amazing glutes but like you don't just get marked in your glutes. A lot of them are lagging in their shoulders or their triceps or their backs and like you can't just have like um, no shoulder muscle. Shoulder muscle is so important for bikini girls. It balances out your body. Like I'm not bikini, I'm figure of fitness so obviously I've got a strong back and strong shoulders but Bikini girls, you need to have good shoulders as well. There's no point in having these amazing glutes only to have. Like, they're going to be looking at your shoulders and your front and side poses, and you've got three of them. It's only your back pose that they're going to be looking at your glutes. So think about that 75% of the time they're looking at your shoulders. So, um, yeah, that was kind of something I was talking to Lex about last night. Um, but no, a lot of my clients are coming to me and they are in good shape and um, I'm going to be very proud of them when they step on stage because they're all really following through and they've got the confidence and they've got the kind of patience as well because none of my diets are slow I only take clients for 
competition for a minimum of 12 weeks. I've taken people on late in their prep when they felt that like you know the coach they were working with wasn't getting them to where they wanted to get um, but with that they had half the work done themselves but mostly yeah I like to take them fresh with uh, 12 to 14 weeks if not even a couple of weeks before so I can have a handle on what they're eating before I start their proper prep so I can have them hitting targets rather than just eating what they want before they come in. So even that with me, I start my prep 20 weeks out, but I was obviously hitting my numbers for weeks before that, apart from Canada. Canada went a bit crazy, hence why I'm so heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have my coffee now and I'll probably have my breakfast in about an hour or so. I usually have a coffee uh, first. Um, I'm not usually dressed to be honest until the afternoon but today I made an effort because I was like I'm going to record myself today I will get dressed I will not be in pyjamas on YouTube so not having decaf no chance no, I'm having full calf full throttle coffee from a little coffee machine that X bought me for my birthday two years ago um, so I think I might get an espresso machine for the new house even more convenient and um, I get it for the office so I'm really excited for you guys to see the office and just the entire house this is one little room at the back of the house it's like a little garden room and it's been done out in all Moroccan tiles and like it's really cute on the photos on the website it looked kind of like mm, that looks a bit shit but when you get into it it's really cute it's all under floor heating and everything so it'll be cute in the winter um, and I've got we've got like a big balcony off our bedroom, so I'm gonna get like all like fairy lights. And like someone's gonna help me put all nice little plants and flowers. And I want to get a little herb garden so I can have fresh mint and fresh basil and whatever other herbs I use. So mostly just mint and basil I use. But yeah, I'm excited for our new house. So meal one is porridge. So I'm going to have 30 grams of oats mixed with 20 grams of high fibre bran. I usually put in about 3 or 4 grams of my selenium husks and 100 gram, or 100ml of unsweetened almond milk and then I will top it up with water and I usually add a little bit of salt in um, the Himalayan salt just because I like the taste and then when it's all done I will be adding in about 15 grams of my Quest salt caramel and then topping with a little bit of caramel syrup from Wallens Farm. I got this um, through from Muscle Food. It goes like gold dust. So I got the caramel syrup is my favourite. I also like the pancake syrup. But um, I'm just going to add the caramel syrup today. Because with the salted caramel, a little bit of salt, it's going to be yummy yummy. So that comes to about... 32 grams of carbs to start the day and I have already had a second coffee so I think I'm gonna have a decaf so here it is without the protein powder now what I do is I normally um, microwave for a minute stir it put it back in microwave it and add more water if it needs it I think that's perfect consistency oh, but um, and I'm a weirdo who likes to eat my porridge with a small spoon so that it lasts longer because otherwise I'm sad when it's gone so yeah I like to spread it out okay now I've had the protein powder I'll make it perfect so meal one of the day and also I'm gonna have all my supplements now my morning supplements so I've been having the um, vitamin C every day, I take two of them a day at the moment and they're a thousand milligrams from my protein and I like the raspberry flavour one. So I'll add one of them with some cordial of some kind, just to add a little bit of flavour. And what I have is two of my CLA tablets, two of my uh, dim tablets and yes I'm still using them and I take two of them twice a day. And they're definitely working, I think it really helps smooth out my legs. Then I have some, I use my little tablet thing so I don't forget to take anything so these are vitamin B complex I take three of them in the morning don't take them in the afternoon because they'll pretty much um, keep you awake because they activate your nerve endings they're for your nerves and um, 
a lot of people a lot of pre-workouts have a lot of vitamin b in them because they um wake you up pretty much these are l-carnitine so they're kind of like kind of like a fat burner but they promote burn burning of fat so i'm taking them don't know whether they work or not and uh, then i'm taking therma pure so again uh, i take these twice a day when i'm training once a day when i'm not training and i'll take three of them in the morning and three of them pre-workout and again it just kind of increases the body temperature and has a lot of um vitamin b's in them as well i take vitamin d3 which is good for your skin and absorption of um sunshine the vitamin d and then oh they're my cla so i've already told you about them and yeah that's my supplements i also take um bcaas during my workout so i'll put uh, about five grams bca in my water with my vitamin c in my big two liter bottle and then post workout i usually have some l-glutamine which is really good for reducing your cortisol levels and for um decreasing your recovery time and for repair of all your joints and your muscles and all that kind of stuff so i take that post workout uh with but l-glutamine tastes like cack so i add uh, some at the moment i've been using the iso iso pro 97 toffee flavor because it really masks the taste and it's uh gets an extra 20 grams if you put 20 grams in it's pretty much like 19.5 grams of protein very minimal um carbs and fats and i usually just make it up in water i just have like a little shot of it and down the hatch goes post workout so i'm gonna have all of them now with my breakfast and i'll fill you in when i have my next snack so normally around mid-morning i have like a protein bar or some kind of a snack um obviously we have loads of quest bars uh we here have this is our selection at the moment we have the uh cookie dough cookies and cream and then i think there's a variety in that box then we have the my protein my bar zero and i really quite like i really quite like the um caramel peanut one and um, it's seven grams of fat uh, four grams carbs and 20 grams protein and it's pretty nice as well it's pretty nice flavor uh, it doesn't have that kind of you know artificial sweetener taste but um last week muscle food sent us through a few little samples of things to try and they have their own protein bars as well as the um quest ones so this one is the coconut crunch bar and it is amazing we only got a couple of them through um, me and Lex. This is the last one. I warned Lex, do not eat it. And they're just, they're really tasty. If you like coconut, it's kind of dark chocolate. And um, I don't know how you describe it. Because it's not like a bounty. It's not soft in the middle, but it's not hard either. But it's really good. If you like coconut flavouring, yum. And also these peanut butter puffs. And I got them, obviously, I love peanut butter. And they're kind of like the my protein chocolate balls except instead of chocolate obviously it's coated in peanut and and again it's supposed like a malteser consistency so like imagine malteser instead of being coated in chocolate being coated in like a kind of a peanutty flavoring we get the really good not too strong a peanut flavor but really really good uh, so i think i'm gonna have this now as my mid-morning snack before we have lunch um, we do have a good selection, we're quite blessed um, with the selection we have. Sometimes I don't like having too much to choose from because if I kind of go on a downward spiral of a binge, I'll, I'll just eat loads. Like I could, I could easily eat like six Quest Bars and they'll taste good at the time, but oh my god, the stomach cramps. Like there, there's a lot of fibre in Quest Bars. And protein will give you like a dodgy tummy anyway so if you have five quest bars which i have done before and um, it will it'll give you such an upset tummy i have to admit in the four and a half weeks i've been prepping i have only got cravings once i've been really really good i've been really focused but on saturday for some reason i was i think i was meant to have a refeed on friday and for some reason i didn't i i missed it somehow and um by Saturday then I was absolutely starving and I wasn't training or anything and I was uploading videos and I was kind of just bouncing around the house here and then Lex went to the cinema with his friend um, to see Terminator, I didn't want to go. So he went and he left me here and I think when I'm on my own I get a little bit lonesome because I don't really have like many friends or anything around 
and like I had my dinner and I had like I was like oh I'm craving some sweets so I factored it all into my macros and then just something took over and I ended up having an extra quest bar I ended up having a pop tart with this oh wait you see these actually these are really cool so we got these through from muscle food as well and I was thinking ooh portion control because it's like a little sachet of like peanut buttery goodness but this is like the white chocolate protein peanut butter but the thing is it's like 14 grams of fat for that little sachet 14 I know it's all good fats but it's still going to send me over on my target if I had that in a day I suppose I could factor in but I was I had already hit my fat targets and I had one of these spread on a pop tart that was a low point and uh, that's probably why my weight um, hasn't gone down by more than a pound. But yeah, these are really good if you can control yourself. They have loads of different flavours. Buck, bake, go. And that would be Bailey growling at Lex because Lex is climbing into a box for some reason. I just want to see if I can fit. This is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Lex trying to fit in the my protein box. Make holidays cheaper if I could. Oh. Am I in? No, you're not in, and now the dogs are up. <laughs> this is my life. Feel sorry for me. Please. Now, he's like putting dogs in there. Off you go. No! Adoption time. They're going to end up biting each other. Stop. Look at Bailey's little beady eyes sticking outside. I did not build. I don't want to be in it. What did Daddy do to you? Put me in a fucking fort. Don't like it. You're a good oh, tuggy. Oh, I don't know what to make of this. Bailey's gone to sleep. Ba open up the box and see if Bailey's asleep. It's just chilly. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Bailey? What did Daddy do? <laughs> Is Daddy being mean to you? Jim, the box. Help me, YouTube. I need a new daddy. He's mean. <laughs> oh, I can do this now. <laughs> They actually quite like it in there, I think. They're not even getting out. They could easily get out, and neither of them have even attempted to get out. Roxy! Where's Roxy? Rox? Rox? Where's Roxy? Roxy? You coming out, Rox? <laughs> You're just mean, Rox. Rox, biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. Where are you? Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh, poor Roxy. And here come all the comments about cruelty to animals. They love it. It's building forts. If you don't like building forts as a kid, what do you like? So like I'm going to go and have my snack now and be nice to my dogs. I'm not a mean owner. I give them cuddles. So it's lunchtime. And I'm just gonna make myself a little sandwich. So I have got my King's Mill 50-50 um, sandwich thin. So I'm just gonna lightly toast that. And what I do is I put it together because I only want the inside toasted. So I put these two sides together and then put in the toaster. I only want it lightly toasted. Then I'm gonna have a turkey salad one. So I've got my cucumber all nicely. Diced up. I take the middle out because then it like makes it less soggy. I've got my cherry tomatoes. Uh, I've got 50 grams of uh, turkey. And um, got my rocket. And I've got this that I got yesterday. And Americans, you're very lucky because we don't have this New York um, deli pickle very readily available. But I found it in the supermarket. And I'll weigh it out, but it is 21 grams per 100. I'll probably only have about 5 grams. But, um, yeah, just remember to weigh it out because it is carbs. And will I add some mayonnaise to it? I have the extra light mayonnaise. And um, I quite like mayo. Lex doesn't like mayo. And he always asks for everything with no mayo. And I'm like, don't ask for no mayo for me. I like mayo. But, yeah, I have the extra light one. So it's practically... Uh, practically 
pretty macro free. I don't know how they make it. But I'm just gonna have that now. I'm gonna put some cheese on it. Oh yeah. So I have this um protein cheese from my protein and it is per 100 grams and i'll only put about 30 on two grams fat zero carbs and 37 37 grams of protein so i'm just gonna probably put about 30 grams on it's quite tasty it's really cheesy like proper cheesy so okay 20 grams 20 grams of cheese so here we have it my i don't know i'm gonna call it my New York turkey sambo. So, oh, it looks really good. And the dogs may or may not have gotten a sliced cucumber each. But, um, yeah, that'll keep me going until after training. This will be my pre workout. Uh, might make like a little bit of a sandwich. He's on a, he uses this high protein bread. It's from my protein. And it's really good toasted with a little bit of a uh, local spread and some marmite on it. But what I put on it for him is some Branston pickle and some of the high protein cheese and then let it all melt and he'll love it. So for two slices of this, it's 5.2 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs and 30 grams of protein. But they are massive slices. If I had it, I'd only have one slice just with some marmite on it. So it'd be 15 grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. Um, I'm just going to enjoy this now. Uh, I've just been answering emails all day. It's quite sunny out and it's been kind of miserable the last couple of days. I've been trying to take the dogs out and when I take them out, they just get destroyed. Right? So I'm going to take them out um, while it's nice and sunny. And uh, then I'm going to go to the gym because today's a leg day. Squats. Uh, I might end up having to go with Lex because he's gone out to the lock up with all the new clothing and I'm going to have to drive him up to bring back his van that he's borrowed from his friend. So we borrow the van and then I like to drive out with him so that I can drive him back. The joy is when you have one car but I hopefully will be getting my own car in the next couple of weeks. So I've just made Lex his sandwich. It actually looks quite delicious. I use the my protein bread, the my protein cheese, uh, some Branston pickle and two slices of ham. Uh, I'm just going to cut it open to show you. So, there we have it. My sandwich. Perma Bay. And uh, before people start asking, why do you cook for Lex? Why do you do everything for Lex? I don't do everything for Lex. I cook to him. He gets his up in the morning, I make him a cup of tea because I'm a nice girlfriend and that's a little habit that we have gotten into that I make him a tea to wake him up because he's grumpy in the morning. And when I have time, I'll make him lunch. If I don't, I don't. And that's why he has all those handy little meals from my protein so that he eats a bit better and he's not just eating crap. And I think I'm... Um, Feminism has gotten a bit crazy to the point where women don't want to do anything for their boyfriends. And I've been in relationships previously where I have been the, um, I don't know, I've been the money earner, I guess. I've been the one taking in, I've had the successful career, I've been taking in the money, I've been paying the bills, I've been paying the mortgage. And to be honest, I'm quite enjoying being in a relationship where it's more even and he earns more money than me and he looks after us financially and I do what I can. I, I obviously make my own money to pay for my hair and my nails and all that kind of stuff but I'm not making as much money as I used to and I am not as financially free and it's kind of but in a way it's liberating that I have I don't have the financial worry on my shoulders and um, I have someone else who I know will look after me and it's quite reassuring and I can relax more in my life and if making a sandwich or making him dinner is a way of me repairing him for what he gives me in life, I don't see anything wrong with that. And I don't think it's anti-feminist. I've worked hard, I have my education, I have my own money to pay for the things I need to pay for. But generally, Lex looks after me and I like it. I like being looked after. I'm not a kept woman, but I like the fact that I have a man who is strong and looks after me and wants to look after me and he's not selfish and he appreciates everything I do for him. He appreciates the laundry, even though he doesn't always say it, but 
he appreciates when he has clean clothes on and he appreciates a clean house and he appreciates the food I make him. So don't be knocking Lex for being like a bad boyfriend or whatever you say about him, like saying that I do too much. But just appreciate that this is what you get for being a nice boyfriend. Look at how delicious that looks. There may be a little bite taken out of by the time he gets home. Anyway, I'm just doing it because I'm being nice to my boyfriend and not for any other reasons or that he's making me do it. Oh my god, that looks so good. Mm, resist, resist. The dogs are even admiring it. So I just have a little rant about feminism because sometimes I think that women take it too far. The whole thing about being independent and being this and being that. Me and Lex are in a partnership so for the few things I do around the house, he does other things. Roxy is quite cleverly scraping the dog food to tell me that she's hungry. Why are you hungry, Roxy? Because you didn't eat your breakfast. You left it behind and now you want food. Is this your dinner? Is this your dinner in here? Do you want your dindins? Bailey doesn't really give a shit. Roxy, you want your dindins? Will Mammy get you your dindins? Okay, that's my cue to make more food. So, unlike Lex, the dogs do not say thank you uh, after I have made them their dinner. But, can't ever. I won't complain because they're the cutest thing. So right now, I'm just making myself a little snack. Um, I have a Weight Watchers vanilla yogurt. I have these um, muscle food peanut um, butter puffs and what else I have some quest protein so I'm just going to use 20 grams of quest protein and it's just really I'm going to use this to um, make some cupcakes because it has like 20 grams it just it's a really nice consistency for baking with and it has xanthan gum and a few other things that are thickening agents so I think it'll work really well for baking so I'm literally just going to add this in. Mm. So I'm pretty much making a big bowl of slop. Um, trying to take my macros. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make chicken. I've already got it in my fitness pal with some uh, tomato rice and some veggies. So very simple. I might add some like grated parmesan on top or some salsa or something just for some flavour but it's pretty it's going to be a very basic dinner I have some chicken breast out frosting that's how I work I see what's out and available because I literally grab stuff from the freezer now this is going to look like a big bowl of slop uh, yesterday I normally have it with them um, like some of the protein granola um, that you can get from my protein just sprinkled on top I don't know all of them in. But, oh yeah. I don't normally eat more than like one kind of processed treat in a day. So normally, like today I had my coconut bar. I wouldn't normally have more than one protein bar in a day. Because I prefer to keep it quite um, clean, I suppose, for want of a better word. Um, but today, I'm just trying to spread it out. Uh, I thought I'd be gone to the gym by now, so this is kind of my pre-workout. It's kind of going to uh, fuel my workout. Mmm. I kind of like one of those Muller yogurt corners. You know, you put the balls in. Except it's like protein balls. I've never done this before, so it's good. So I'm home from the gym. I've had my glucemin with my Toffee ISO 97. And I'm just after making dinner. So just a simple dinner. I have some rice, which is the Tilda sun-dried tomato rice. I've just taken 125 grams. Pretty simple. I haven't done any fancy, fancy dinners today. So as you can see, it's... Uh, 3.8 grams of fat and 27 carbs that I've got some veggies fresh veggies my courgette and um, asparagus and some little peppers chopped up 
And I'm going to add a little bit of the grated parmesan for flavour. And over here I have sizzling away my chicken. So all I've done is chicken in the pan with some mushrooms and some um, spinach. And I've added a little bit of Philadelphia garlic and herbs to it. Just to add a bit of flavour. I'm just going to add that on now. Um, you don't have to be making big extravagant meals every day. So this is just a simple one that I just wanted something quick and fast and nothing too fancy. And for Lex, I made him some as to mash because it's easy to microwave. I'm not going peeling and mashing potatoes. So I made him some as to plain mash with a beef hash steak from Muscle Food. So I literally pan fried that with um, some onion. And then I had some baked beans. You can get the reduced salt and sugar ones from any supermarket. So I put in, I think, 200 grams of the baked beans for him because he's like, obviously higher carb than me, but you'd be getting a bit of protein from the beans too. So trying to hit both of our macros for dinner. And uh, I'll update you on what macros I have left and what I'm gonna fill them with. So making up my macros, I have a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fat left. So I'm gonna have a square of this dark caramel chocolate with some of my fudge highlights, hot chocolate and I just make it up with a little bit of almond milk and the rest of the water. Lex tends to put mostly milk in his. Um, but it's only 1.2 grams fat and 4.7 grams carbs. And it's yummy. And these, per little square of this, I like the squares are. There, show you. That size there, that's a square. And it is uh, 4.5 grams fat and. 5.1 grams carbs. Now, I haven't sacri sacrificed any food today to have this or anything. It's just that I have fats left over and it's just a way of hitting my fats and my carbs. I'd say later on when I get further into my cut and I have less fat and less carbs, I'll be giving up my chocolate. But I'm also going to have a yogurt. Weight Watchers, Nectarine. Weight Watchers have a really good range of yogurts because they're like low fat and low carb. So feeling hungry and you want something sweet it's good just to um, keep you going so I'm gonna enjoy these and we are watching Once Upon a Time uh, we're into series 3 and I really love it I really look forward to my episode of like Hook and um, I find Snow White really annoying and I really like um, Rumpelstiltskin and I don't mind Emma if you haven't started watching it watch it it's really good characters are really good. So I'm just going to enjoy that with Lex now and then go to bed because tomorrow is another busy day.